What's going on, Ian e Nation? Army? This is the Impress 2000 on my the original e Impress 2000 YouTube channel here, and welcome back to yet another diecast review. And this diecast review is going to be on Terry Labonte's 2000 Kellogg's Chevy Monte Carlo from Hedrick Motorsports. With that being said, let's begin. All right, so we got number five. We got Tony the Tiger. We got G Mac Haas CNC. Oh, sorry, Haas CNC Kellogg's Quaker State. We got Tony the Tiger's tail. My man has a long ass tail, I think, from the way it's designed. You go, Tony. Anyway, you got Slice 50, 1 800, Merrill 2. Uh, you also got four AC Delco logo, and of course, it, at the top of the AC Delco looks like it got bitten or eaten up because, of course, this is a used car that I, that I got from the flea market. One of the four cars I got from the flea market. You got Mountain Dew down here. Um, I can't read what else. I can't read what these two say. We got Terry Labonte team. We got uh, the the state of Texas because Ter uh, Texas Terry Labonte. You got the 2000 NASCAR t contingency sponsors, even though there's no NASCAR 2000 logo up here. That's strange. Anyway, on the hood, you got Kellogg's Chevy Bowtie Monte Carlo number five, same side as the left. On the back bumper, you got Chevy Bowtie, you got Kellogg's, got two can Sam, number five, Quaker. On the on the roof, you got number five, and on the deck lid, you got Advanced Auto Parts. Um, I'm gonna be completely about. I'm gonna be. I can't even English. I always fumble, mix the words. I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna be 100% completely honest about this livery. I don't like this livery so much. I am not a fan of this livery alongside with Kyle Busch's 2006 CarQuest Kellogg's black car. I really don't like this livery. There's just something about this livery I don't really like. Like, I know the things I don't like about this livery is the white number five and the, you know, the, the red and the yellow, the green background design. Um... It doesn't look good in my opinion. Um, I'm not a fan of design. My favorite parts about this livery is that it's the front. Like, I really like the yellow in the background. I like that the hood is white. And it goes well with the, the red Kellogg's, the sunshine, the sun, the, the grass, and the bow tie, and the red hood outlines. Honestly, that looks good in my opinion. Everything else, I'm not really a fan and I don't blame anybody if they forgot this car. I don't blame them. I don't like this car at all. And what makes this worse is that Terry Lobani did not have a good season. He didn't even complete all the races because he had an injury from the 2000 Pepsi 400 when the big accident. And one of the drivers, or only driver, I don't know. Um, the, the substitute was my na favorite NASCAR truck series driver ever, Ron Hornaday, the truck goat. My favorite truck driver ever racing for my favorite NASCAR team, Hedrick Motorsports. Two worlds collide, baby. But yeah, oh no, nah, this is a forgettable livery and it's not a good livery. So yeah. Anyway, with that being said, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this Diecast review. This is the Impress 2000 by the original Impress 2000 channel. <coughs> 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 Sorry. Signing off. Goodbye, everybody.